So here we go. This is lesson 21. We're going to combine 21 and 22 together. 21 and 22 together we're combining. We're doing out of the 25 mindset principles that uh, a guy named Tom Billy put together. Um, he created 25 belief systems. And so we're taking those and we're just doing uh, one at a time or two at a time and kind of just talking about it, creating a small little mini lesson about it. The ultimate goal is to develop a growth mindset. That's where all this is leading to is develop the growth mindset. And so the story that he gives is that he, uh, when he started his company, he was down in LA and um, he, you know, some of the workers uh, that he had, he was amazed at just how smart they were. They didn't even have a real education, but he was amazed how smart they were. And he goes, my gosh, you could do so much more than just you know, work on an assembly line. Um, but he realized they couldn't think beyond that point. They didn't have a growth mindset. So he kind of put, made it his goal to create a growth mindset or help people growth mindset. And so looking at these, number 21 and 22. So only work in an environment that is moving you towards your goals. That's number 21. I, I would, I, my kids all the time, my advice to them is like, we're not sure what we want to do. If we want to go to college or what we're going to do with our life. My advice to them is whatever, do something that is of interest to you. Because it's so easy, it is so easy to graduate high school and to get a job. And the thing is, if you get a job for the first time, if you get a job for the first time, it's like, oh my gosh, I have all this extra money I wasn't expecting. You could easily, easy make two, three thousand dollars, four thousand dollars a month working full time, or a little bit more full time if you put how much hustle you put into it. And for someone that has nothing from going from zero to that, it's like, oh my gosh, a lot of money. And so a lot of times people might take that temptation of that money and think, hey, this is great. I have the money. But the problem is they're not doing something they love and they quickly will get burnt out on it. So my advice to my kids, my advice to anybody is find something you're interested in, whatever it is. My daughter, I give her kudos. She's in ninth grade uh, for the past two years. She's been wanting to do the same thing. And I think this is where she's going to end up at. She wants to be a zoologist. Now we looked at how much a zoologist get paid. They get paid only about $20 an hour. That's nothing. To go through all that schooling, to, she would have to go to become a zoologist to only get paid $20 an hour. That, that's, that's ridiculous, right? But the thing is, I would encourage her to do that. If that's really what she wants to do that, because that is where you're going to find success. If you find something you're interested in and you put your heart into it, no matter what a starting pay is, that is where you're going to find success because you got to be working at a place that, that is getting where you want to go. So you're going to do a zoologist. You got to work at a place that gets you towards that goal. So we talked about jobs for her. Maybe she works at a pet store. Maybe she volunteers somewhere. But the bottom line is you want to put the time and effort into something that have, is interest to you. Because what's going to eventually have to be is this. That if you eventually want to be successful at whatever it is, a job, a career, a um, uh, a business, a sport, whatever it is, you're going to have to do this and that is work hard. And I can tell you from experience, there comes a point where you put so much time and effort into something. If it's not something you enjoy, you're going to burn out. And you guys, I mean, think about this. How hard do you guys actually work? You guys actually, now I, how many here actually have a job? I think one, two, right? Three, man, first of all, that's impressive. Because I think most people your age don't even have a job or be willing to get a job, right? So how hard do you really work? If you count the hours you put into, if, if this is your job right now, school, how many hours do you work at school? Being here, I don't think it's that much. I probably say it's less than 40 hours a week. And if you can't hang with working with school, I think you're pretty tough when you actually have to go out there and work something really work to actually make a living and survive. So you're going to have to put the time and effort in. If you want to get good or great at something, be successful at something, you got to put more time and effort than anybody else. And here's where it comes to this one. So impactivists or people that want to make a change are linchpins. Now I'm not sure if you know what a linchpin is, but a linchpin basically holds things together. So let's say I have like four things hanging together, right? Four things. And there's one pin that connects it all, all right? There's one pin at the top connects it all. If you take out that pin, the whole thing falls apart. Wherever you land in life, a job, a career, a family, a church, whatever it is, you want to become, let's have a seat right there, a linchpin. Yeah. 
What that means is you want to become so important to that organization that if you were to leave, it would have an impact on the organization. So let's take a real simple job. If you work at McDonald's, right? And you work at McDonald's and uh, all you know how to do is the fries. That's it. That's all you know how to do is the fries, right? right. What would happen if they got tired of you? They would what? Fire you, right? Because how hard is it to teach somebody to do fries? Not that hard. You're not a linchpin. You're not that important to the organization, right? But let's say you go there and, and every day you're on time, you hustle, you grind. I mean, everything else to it. And not only do you know how to do the fries, but you actually know how to operate the entire machine. Not only that, the machine breaks down one day, you go home, you look on YouTube, you find out how to fix that machine. The next day you come and you fix that machine. They're like, man, this guy is great. Or this guy was great. They don't just do fries. They, they run the whole thing. If they're gone, we're in trouble because now whether it breaks down or something else. And it doesn't have to be something mechanical like that. It could just be who you are. There are some people, when they go into a room, they make the room better. There are some people that make the room better when they leave, just by their attitude. If you're able to go into a room, and some of you have that, that's, and I admire that in people because I, I don't have that ability or that skill, but there's some people that can go into a room and everybody's kind of attracted to them and drawn to them just because of their personality. If you bring that into a workplace, that is something. And they don't want to get rid of you because you bring that into the workplace and the people like being around you. So whatever that is, you want to learn to become a linchpin. You want to work hard, smart, and long hours. And I think for me, this is the big one I hear is you got to be willing to work hard and long hours. I've seen it time and time again in students that uh, could do so much better. They even want to do better. They even want to do better. They're like, yeah, I want a good grade and all that. And they say they want a good grade, but not want to put the effort into it. And for me, school, and I've said this before, school itself, the stuff you learn here at school, some of it's important. But to be honest, you're going to go through life and really not need much you learn here in school. You're not going to need to know about George Washington or the Civil War to be successful in life. You're not going to. But what school provides you, it provides you the opportunity, the template. It provides you the framework of how to work through something to get to a certain goal. That's what it does. Because in order to be successful in school, you have to have certain characteristics to be successful in school. Those same characteristics will apply to the rest of your life. And so for me, that is what's so important about school. It gives you the ground, gives you a place to practice those skills and to work on those skills that you'll need to be successful at whatever you choose beyond schooling.